Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. Thanks for being here today. For this video, we're going to do a seasonal from Soap Commander. Soap Commander Renewal. Floral Fougere. And this is a 3 ounce tub, $12. For 3 ounces of soap, it is a non-tallow based soap. Four ingredients, uh, what do we got here for high quality ingredients? Shea butter, coconut oil, and glycerin. So a relatively simple soap base, but good stuff nonetheless. This is a spring seasonal. We are about a week and a half to the right of spring, going into summer, but hey, close enough. Now more than likely, you're going to be seeing a lot of these in the project. These 3 ounce tubs from Soap Commander, as well as a couple other brands. Because reasons. They're smaller, lighter, cheaper, easier to transport, and I actually have a fighting chance of using the entire tub while I'm here and not having to take it back to the United States with me. So that's the intent. I can't imagine I'm going to accomplish that with a lot of soaps, but I'm hoping to do it with ease. So Soap Commander Renewal. We have the matching aftershave balm in a two ounce bottle. And this has a string of tape around it because the label was coming off, but it's good stuff. Love the scent on this, and we're going to talk about it during the shave. Where is the razor? Right here. Here it is. Rockwell 6S, metal injection molded, stainless steel. And this is on plate number four of six. It has three plates. Each of them has two sides, so you can flip it around and increase the, uh, the exposure, the aggressiveness, etc. Rockwell 6S for the razor. And we're going to put a Lord Super Stainless Blade in it today. It's been quite a while since the last time I used one of these, and the last time I was not super impressed with it. So hopefully today we have better results. And the brush is from Knothead Brushworks. 24mm Maggard SHD Badger. And Knothead Brushworks sadly is out of business, but this is one of my all-time favorite brushes. I love the way the, the handle is, the shape of the handle. And the knot is set to where it just splays really willingly, and it's, it's good stuff. Okay, time to do a shave.
Okay. Grooming department pre-shave was just applied to the face per our usual arrangements. And here is the soap. Soap Commander Renewal lathered into the Hendrix Classics and Company stainless steel bowl. And the scent strength, I'm going to give it an average rating of 3 out of 5. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. There have been times where I could have swore this was a 4 out of 5, but no, I don't think so. I think it's, uh, I think it is definitely square in the middle of a 3 out of 5. So let's put it on. I'm going to start shaving without it. 24 hours growth, a little over 24 hours actually, maybe 20... Seven or eight ish. This stuff smells great. Normally, I tend to stick pretty, uh, pretty in line with uh, this the season that I feel is appropriate for a scent. I tend to color inside the lines that way. So in the winter time, you'll see a lot of woody scents, uh, warm, rich, and sweet scents. In the spring, you'll see a lot of fougeres and florals and lavenders. In the summertime, it's a lot of citrus and beach scents, aquatic scents, that sort of thing. At least, ideally, that's what it is. Okay, got a Lord Super Stainless Blade inside of the Rockwell 6S. So let's, let's start shaving. Here we go. Much better than I remember it being. Buttery smooth combo right here. Okay, I'm sure all, your, all of you are curious about the uh, scent of Soap Commander Renewal. So let's talk about it. Oh, iPhone cheat sheet says we have lavender, cedar, fir needle, crushed pine, camphor, patchouli, hay, tobacco, citrus, Jupiter, but Jupiter. What the hell? Jupiter is named after the Roman king of the gods. Juniper, vetiver, black tea, and wild hyacinth. Some interesting ingredients for something that's supposed to be a fougere. As far as fougeres go, this is kind of an old school smelling one. It uh, it has a passing soap is thick enough that the water doesn't want to drain out. It has a passing resemblance to Dracar Noir. And don't go to sleep on me. There we go. My iPhone cheat sheet almost went to went to bed on me. I think it's the lavender and the juniper, the fir needle, the pine. Uh, a lot of that is the kind of stuff you'd find in uh, in Dracar Noir. What is interesting is what it doesn't have. There's no geranium, which is a, a key player usually in uh, in fougeres. It's good though. It's a damn good scent. Um, it's different enough. It, how do I approach this? Let's approach this from a different angle. It's similar enough to Dracar Noir that if you like Dracar Noir, you're sure to love this. But it's not a dead ringer, it's not a dupe, or a copy. It's different enough that I would not say it's redundant. I 
think I think passing resemblance is uh, is the right way to describe it. So it's going to be lavender heavy. It's going to be heavy on fir needle and pine and juniper. All those are bold scent notes. And so a little bit goes a long way. So as a result, those notes are going to be the easiest ones to pick up. This is the most comfortable shave I've had in a while. Uh, the primary and residual slickness is very good. This razor and blade combination is a little on the mild side. I would say that the Lord stainless blade is smooth, but not particularly sharp. Oh yeah, great residual slickness. You can blade buff all you want with this, no problem at all. Just touch it up in a couple places and then we'll be done. Gotta keep my mustache in regs. For the Air Force, there's very specific measurement standards that you have to have. They actually just loosened the standards a little bit. Your mustache is allowed to be wider laterally than it used to be by about a quarter of an inch. Okay, that's enough. Let's have a rinse. Let's see what we got here. I win. Okay, let's do the Ellen Block Report card. Not that I think I need it today, but hey, the only reason I even use an Ellen Block is to get feedback on how the shave went. I don't really use it as a uh, antiseptic or an astringent. It's just to see where I got where I, where I get feedback, and then, then I can go back and look at the video and go, okay, next time I need to improve on this. And it looks like no feedback, an irritation-free shave. So, yeah. Let's go to the aftershave. Okay, Soap Commander Renewal, two ounce. Let's put it on. Whoa. That's weird. It came out in this gray liquid. Let me shake it up. It's kind of, it's not shaking up very well. Uh, interesting. <laughs> I'm just going to squeeze it out until something good comes out. Ooh, wee. What in the world? Look at that. Is it just me or is that not supposed to look like cottage cheese? Whatever. Let's, let's apply it to the face and see, see if it's... Going on the face just fine. Huh, that was weird. Okay. Now I had to squeeze out a lot of it to get the actual balm out of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna wipe some of it off. Cause that was just too much. Okay, that's better. That, that was goofy. Okay, hey, that was an organic reaction if there ever was one. All right, my final thoughts on Soap Commander Renewal. If I exhausted this to an empty tub and it was still available, would I buy it again? Yes, I like this. Um, fougeres for me can be hit and miss. I've had a lot of fougeres that are like this where 
I absolutely love it. And then I've had some other fougeres from artisans like Denton Magic where it was just like, nope, I'm not doing it. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I think it's just, it's kind of like a barbershop scent. Everybody has their own, their own take on fougere, every soap maker. So some of them are gonna be good for me and some of them aren't. But this one's, this one's definitely a good one. Yeah, if you like Dracar Noir, then you'll probably like this. Soap Commander Renewal. Okay, that'll be the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.